Next, the city of Antioch is looking to rebrand its image and it's asking people for help. KPI X5's John Ramos explains. The honest truth is Antioch doesn't like the way most people feel about the city, so they're asking for the residents' help to rewrite the story. Outside Antioch, I believe um, the Bay Area has a negative view of Antioch. And that's what this is all about? Yes. They've hired a company to rebrand the city, and this morning a handful of residents gave their suggestions to do that. Antioch actually has a lot to offer, with the Delta waterfront on its north and the open spaces of the Diablo foothills to the south. It could be an outdoor enthusiast paradise, but a lingering perception of high crime has held the city back. We need to change that narrative. Um, I think sometimes even our own community, we have been incredibly hard on ourselves. Despite a recent influx of homeless in the downtown area, crime is actually down in the city. And the housing developments that were ravaged during the foreclosure crisis have mostly recovered. Still, the town seems to be split between longtime residents near the water and the new neighborhoods built during the housing boom. It's created a bit of an identity crisis. After today, I'm, I got to thinking, no, we need to... Embrace these new people that have moved out to the other end. Don't say, oh, we're divided up. We need to be together more. And that may be the real problem Antioch faces. How can it rebrand itself to the outside world when it cannot agree what the city even is? Is it a bedroom community for commuters or a riverfront recreation town? Branding is about who am I, what do I want to stand for in the long term. Marketing is how do I let you know that, right? And this is very much about the who am I part of it. In other words, before Antioch can change its image to the world, it must first figure out what it wants to be. In Antioch, John Ramos, KPIX5.